foodies, I am Kanak and you are watching Ready Steady Eat. Today I am going to show you how to make chocolate truffles. These are mini bite sized chocolate dumplings which are rolled on coatings and these are served as desserts. So let's see how to make this. For this you need 250 grams of bittersweet chocolate chopped finely, 2 to 3 tablespoons of unsalted butter, 4 tablespoons of heavy cream, 1 teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and for the coating truffles I am using half a cup of cocoa powder, half a cup of finely chopped nuts. Here I am using almonds, cashews and pistachio. You can use any of your choice. Half a cup of chocolate sprinkles. First place the chocolate and the butter in a medium sized glass mixing bowl and microwave it for 30 seconds. Remove it and stir it and again repeat this process one more time and mix well. Set aside and mix the vanilla extract. Meanwhile, heat the heavy cream in a small saucepan over medium high heat for 2 minutes and then remove it from the heat and pour the mixture over the melted chocolate mixture. Now let it stand for around 2 minutes. Now stir it well until all the chocolate mixture is smooth and creamy. Now place a mixture into the refrigerator for around 1 hour or until it is thick enough to hold a shape. Now it's been almost 1 and a half hour. I'm going to remove it from the fridge. And let's see if it is firm enough. Yes, it is firm enough to make it into balls. Now drop the mixture by a teaspoonful into a plate. Shape into balls. Shape by rolling between the palms of your hands slowly to make a small small roundels and keep aside. Now roll a few in the cocoa powder. Few into the nuts of your choice. and few into the chocolate sprinkles. Once a truffle is ready with the coating, now again refrigerate it for around 10 to 15 minutes or until the coating is set enough. Now I'm going to remove it from the fridge. Now my lovely chocolate truffles are ready to eat now. Let me see how it is. It's really amazing. This one you have to try. Do try it, it hardly takes some time, hardly 20 minutes or around half an hour. But it's really amazing and worth trying. So do try it and let me know how it turned out in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed watching me today, do like the video and subscribe to the channel Ready Steady Eat for more such lovely recipes. Till then, bye and happy cooking.